Good day ladies and gents. I'm back once again with another hero overview, this time for Jack and Roll, or better known as Big Jack. So let's jump straight in, no messing around, and take a look at his skills, and then we can analyse how strong he is and how he is used after. So Big Jack's first skill deals single target damage to an enemy based on his own HP, and is further boosted by the mastery of the highest attack hero on your team. This damage also counts as burn. Big Jack's second skill targets a single ally and increases that ally's turn meter by 100%, immediately making it their turn and giving them a buff called Spotlight, which increases their direct damage and their damage over time. And then we have Big Jack's third skill, or his passive, which has quite a few aspects. Big Jack is immune to stun, freeze, and his turn meter cannot be increased or decreased by abilities or effects. Big Jack will also generate layers of a buff called Beat that increases when he takes various actions. As his layers of Beat increase, his Spotlight buff will get even stronger, and when Beat hits 100 and 200 layers, he gets even more passive effects. The first effect blocking one layer of CC from all allies, and the second reducing enemies healed effect and shield effect. And Big Jack's fourth and final skill increases the speed and turn meter of all of his allies, with the spotlighted ally getting more turn meter than the others. Now that we've looked at his skills, let's look at Big Jack's exclusives. At E1, Big Jack requires less layers of beat for his bonus effects to occur, and he'll also gain an additional powerful effect. When one of his allies takes fatal damage, he will restore their health to full and give them damage immunity for one turn. When this happens, Big Jack will lose this extra effect. However, he can gain it back by gaining enough layers of beat. This means that he can prevent an ally from dying multiple times over the course of a fight. Big Jack's E2 allows him to automatically use his single target nuke, aka his first skill, on the same target as his spotlighted ally. So if the spotlighted ally attacks someone, Big Jack attacks them as well afterwards. And finally, Big Jack's E3 greatly increases the damage bonus provided by Spotlight and also allows him to spotlight more than one unit at a time. However, this does come with a drawback of increasing the cooldown of his second skill, which is the one that is used to put Spotlight on people, by two turns for every extra ally he hits with Spotlight. So, with all of Big Jack's skills and exclusives covered, let's discuss why he's so strong and how he's used. The most common application for Big Jack is in PvP. He amplifies the damage of your DPS, in the current meta that's usually someone like Arato or Jingle Bell, and instantly makes it their turn to allow them to do crazy burst damage. It is worth noting by the way that when it's on auto, Big Jack chooses the target of his second skill based on who has the highest attack on the team. So if you wanted Arato to be the target, you need to make sure she has higher attack than everyone else or Big Jack will use his skill on someone different. So to successfully fulfill this role of this damage amplifying support, Big Jack needs to be very fast, and that is why speed is his most important stat. With this being the case, most will recommend using him in a regular speed set with high substat rolls in speed. He does also benefit from having some HP rate, especially if equipped with his Echo, but that is nowhere near as important as speed and the reason for that is because of his passive effect that makes him immune to turn meter manipulation. So this means that if you were to try to use him with space for example, space's fourth skill would not increase his turn meter, and this is why he's often used with Popper instead of someone like space, as Popper reduces the enemy's turn meter rather than increasing his own team's turn meter. And so since you can't boost his turn meter naturally, he needs to have a lot of speed so he can get his turn without such a boost. Especially as you usually want him to be one of the first people to get their turn so he can pass it to the DPS who can kill everyone. With all that being said, however, Big Jack is also very useful in PvE, especially for bossing. Due to his ridiculous damage amplification and his extreme speed and turn meter boosts, he can increase the damage of your team by a lot. And you also shouldn't underestimate the damage he can do with his first skill, especially if you have him at E2. 
as the damage for this ability scales with his own HP and the mastery of those he has tagged, he can actually do a lot of burst damage in both PvE and PvP. And whilst discussing the applications of his exclusives, his E1 is also incredibly powerful and can be crazy annoying to deal with in PvP. Often you'll try and kill the enemy DPS only for Big Jack to keep them alive and then the enemy DPS takes their turn and kills your entire team. And as Big Jack can regenerate this buff, sometimes it can be difficult to ensure that the enemy stays dead. And in the same idea, this effect is also fantastic in PvE for keeping your main DPS live during more difficult fights. So we've discussed his E1 and E2, but what about his E3? Well, although Big Jack's E3 can be incredible for maximizing damage in a team with a bunch of other DPS by giving them all spotlight, it does have its drawbacks when you use it on auto. Because the cooldown of his second skill increases with each ally in spotlight, on auto the AI will often give everyone spotlight and this massively increases his cooldown which can sometimes be problematic. Another thing to notice about Big Jack's passive is that although he's immune to the common freeze and stun, he is still vulnerable to silence and hypnotize. And so you'll often see heroes like a Sindo and Ronai used to counter him in PvP. But with those minor drawbacks out the way, we cannot deny that Big Jack is an incredibly strong hero. And another bonus of Big Jack is that he is very effective even at low exclusive levels. He's strong at E0, E1 is a huge upgrade, and E2 and E3 are both really nice, but they're not necessary. And so with this being the case, if you get the chance to get even a single copy of Big Jack, it's definitely worth it. He is a very strong hero that can be used in a wide variety of content, and I can't see that changing anytime soon. So that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content or you found it useful and you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. It makes a massive difference to the channel's growth and it helps me make more content like this for you guys. But yeah, that's it from me guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day, good night and dog blessing.